what is up everybody welcome back to the freaking channel i am fired up man going into december 2019 closing out the freaking year man and just fired up fired up so depending on when you're watching this man i'm cutting it in december of 2019 and this is where we're at man this is where i'm at um and i just i just love my my subscribers man i love my youtube fam a lot of you guys are starting to comment a lot of you guys are starting to ask questions and i freaking love it man and so <clears throat> with this one, I wanted to kind of just show you a question and answer a question that came from um, Munir. So I hope, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <clears throat> Munir, M-O-U-N-I-R. Shout out to Munir. Um, <clears throat> but this was a question that came in and I'm like, man, this is, this is what I truly believe. I truly believe so many of you guys, and I'm talking by the thousands, thousands of people out there. That are, that are jumping into social media marketing, that are jumping into wanting to be, you know, a freelancer or, or, or start some type of agency. I totally believe, I truly believe, um, um, and I'm just convinced, I'm convinced that thousands of you guys are still stuck. I'm, I'm convinced that thousands of you guys paid, you know, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500 for expensive ass courses and a lot of you guys are still stuck. You don't know where to start. You don't know your confidence level isn't quite there yet to go demand 2,500 a month from a business owner, right? So, so when this question came in, I'm like, man, that is exactly what I, what I know. And, and I know most are feeling this way. And so this question here, um, first of all, shout out to Munir, shout out, man. Thank you so much for your kind words. I truly, truly appreciate you. Um, great channel, great content. You're really the exception. I, I truly appreciate you, man. And then, and then, uh, Munir goes on to saying, I'm going to start my agency. I took some courses. I followed your channel. I learned a lot. I like your approach on the DM. I know how to run Facebook ads but I have not run real live campaigns for customers in the past. And for that, I'm, I'm a little afraid. So that's, let's start there, man. Let's start there. And then what's your advice? Run myself, run myself, my campaigns and acquire the experience with time or recruit a freelancer. Okay. Perfect example, man. Perfect. Perfect question. Again, shout out to Manure. Thank you so much for, for your question. I, when I, when I, when I started my agency, first of all, it all started because I had this background in marketing. I already, I've already been in sales and marketing, you know, since 1999. So it's what I've been doing as a kid. It's what I grew up, you know, knowing and, and learning and trying to be a student of, which was marketing. Right. And then, and then it wasn't until the late two thousands when social media marketing and, and internet marketing really started to take off. Right. And so in, so fast forward to 2016 is when I was getting out of the mortgage in this mortgage industry from spending six years as a banker, as a loan originator. I'm the guy that you come to if you want to buy a home. I'm the one that qualifies you to buy a home that's what I did for six years, 2010 to 2016 here in San Diego was successful um, in that industry, in that business, but I got sick and tired of it. And so in 2016, when I'm leaving that industry, I'm like, damn, I want to do something online. The internet is exploding. And, and I had already known, known of the internet way, way before 2016, but it wasn't until 2016 when I'm like, man, I'm going to move everything to online. I want to just build an internet business. Like I want to find clients online. I want to market online. I want to run traffic online. I want shit. I want people to buy my shit online. Like I moved everything, to on everything online in 2016. And so that's when I was just online searching for different opportunities, um, looking into affiliate marketing, looking into Shopify, looking into, um, into, into an agency, into how to, I didn't even, to tell you the truth, I didn't even know of a social media agency. I didn't even know those words. Like I didn't even know that this whole thing even existed. And I don't, I don't even think a lot of you guys knew it prior to 2016, because in 2016, just like you guys, I started getting bombarded by Ty Lopez. I started getting bombarded by Sam Ovens, 
and 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 it was those two guys that introduced me to building my own agency and i'm like damn okay shit i could i could do that i'm a closer i've been in sales and and now i'm i'm on social media i can i can reach out and find clients right so it all started in 2016 but as i'm taking courses and as i'm learning from these gurus right the whole price point that i was learning that i was being taught was 2000 a month you're going to be charging clients 2000 a month 2000 a month 2500 no problem businesses are going to pay that to you all day and although that's true to a lot of you guys you guys got you know a lot of you guys probably watching my channel right now or watching this video you guys probably have a ton of high paying clients and that's and that's that's awesome but i'm also convinced that 99% of aspiring agency owners don't have a ton of clients paying them that much um, at all. And so I think that's where the missing piece is at, is that a lot of us come into the industry, a lot of us invest in courses, but we're still new and our knowledge isn't quite there yet. Our skill level isn't quite there yet to demand that kind of money from a business owner. And that's why Manure feels a little afraid, right? Right here. I'm afraid a little because Manure knows that the skill level isn't quite there. And so that's perfectly fine, man. That's perfectly fine. And so as I was starting my agency and as I was starting to, to, to reach out to get clients and trying to figure out my price points and my services and what I was going to be offering these people, because yeah, it's Facebook ads is one thing you could be, you could be right there you know, and, and, and launch and, and do Facebook ads and that's, and that's all you do for them. But, but, but again, what I'm saying is that I don't, I, I believe that just because you took a course today doesn't necessarily mean that you can run a Facebook ad tomorrow. Now, some of you guys learn super fast, but at the same time, it didn't take me, it, it, it wasn't a fast thing for me. Like I didn't learn Facebook ads overnight. Hell no. Like it took some time to learn that stuff. I gotta, I gotta invest the time to learn it. And then I have to go invest some money to go learn it. You know what I mean? So it's like in the very beginning, I started, I started trying to think of different services that I can offer. Like what, what would allow, what would, what would, what would make that client pay me now while I'm learning Facebook ads, like what else can I offer? Like what are their services when it pertains to their social media, when it comes to simple Facebook ads, like the simple ones, a video view ad, a page like ad, simple ads like that, right? Like what can I offer to, to, to get a few hundred out of this client now? And so while I'm learning how to master Facebook ads, at least I can eat, as long, it, it, at least I can pay my bills, at least I can get a few hundred from these people to do some basic services for them real quick while I'm learning while i'm learning my master craft and that's that's facebook ads right so in 2016 man that's what i started doing is that i knew that my i invested in courses so i so the ball were, was rolling i got the ball rolling my mind is now being acclimate um, um yeah acclimated to this entire industry i'm now starting to get used to and, and starting to learn and starting to, to be exposed to getting clients and 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 now i'm youtubing a bunch of people and they're building their agency and as I'm learning this stuff, and as I pick my niche, again, I knew that my skill level wasn't quite there to be to be charging two thousand a month. So I started, I, I I I narrowed in on a niche. That's where it began, and 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 I chose the real estate niche because I came from that industry, and that's what I truly believe you guys need to be doing. You need to be choosing an industry that you're fired up about, that you're passionate about, or that you have an experience in because that's going to help you while you're talking to clients. It's going to allow you to, to leverage your background or your experience or, or your passion or your interest or your excitement. You're going to be able to carry that onto the conversation and your clients are going to believe you even more. That's why when I tell them that I come from mortgages, it's a complete game changer. It's a complete game changer when I can relate to that client, when I can relate to them, right? It's a completely game changer. And, and again, it's, it's where my interest is at. It's where my passion is at. I eventually want to be owning, you know, thousands of apartments. Like I want real estate in my, just in my DNA. 
so so that's my niche right i get fired up about you know helping people in that niche so the reason why i truly believe that needs to be that way is because you're gonna it's not easy man first of all nothing's easy so so everything is hard just pick your heart you know what i mean everything is hard so you got to just learn it and get through it but because you have an interest in it because you have a passion in it because you're fired up about it that's going to allow you to to keep going and and not quit and not quit because i'm telling you man in 2016 as 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 the gurus and as the pioneers i truly believe it was ty lopez and sam ovens who pioneered the entire industry you guys could probably think different and that's fine but I just know the amount of advertising they were do they were doing, and prior to that, no one else was pitching S S M M M A or however the hell you want to call it, social media market. Yeah, S M M M A, M M A. However the hell, whatever. But no one was pitching that. No one was teaching people how to do that prior to 2016. Prior to Ty Lopez and Sam Ovens. But again, I could be wrong. That's just where I learned it from, and and how I was exposed to it. But um, but um um um, what was I saying? Um. Um, 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 so you have to be fired up, man. So you don't quit. Okay. So you don't quit. Um, and then, and then, so I started, I started, I, I chose my niche and then I started seeing a pattern and that's why my whole approach on the direct message is, is request all these people as friends on Facebook or follow all of them on Instagram or follow all of them and connect with all of them on LinkedIn. And when you narrow in on your niche, Okay. And you start to follow thousands of them all on, on one platform or all on multiple platforms, whatever you start to see patterns, you start to see habits, you start to see how everyone's marketing their business and they're all the same. They're all in the same industry. That's why I highly recommend you have to go after one industry, go after one niche, because that's going to allow you to really master and really dissect and really learn everything about that niche, because now you're following thousands of them. And you're seeing what they're posting. You're seeing how they're marketing. You know, you're starting to see this stuff. And so it wasn't until like maybe, so I launched my agency in 2016, but it wasn't until like 20, 2017, 2017, when I started realizing that 100% of them were missing certain things. Like their Facebook page wasn't optimized. The links weren't listed. Their social media links were all mix, mix matched. Nothing looked branded. Nothing looked professional. Their Facebook business page has 120 likes when that page should have 1,100 likes. You know what I mean? So I started seeing these basic little services where I started developing packages and I started developing different product lines. And I'm like, man, while I learn how to master Facebook ads, I don't want to leave any money on the table. And I don't want to go broke. I don't want to starve myself just to try to get a $2,000 a month client when that's going to take me a while because my skill level is not even there yet. So what can I offer that's not that expensive where I can still afford to pay my bills, live, and still provide great value? And so that's kind of what I ended up doing. I found my niche. I knew what they were missing when it came to social media marketing and just basic stuff. And I started to package that up. And I started offering that at a lower price point. I started offering that at 500, 600, 700. And so um, 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 that's where I would start. I would start by just doing a handful of things, whether it's graphic design, like you can literally start in so many different ways. You can start by customizing everybody's social media links for them because no one has it customized. You can start by running a, a page like ad because everyone and their mother has about 300 likes on their business page. And again, these are business owners. So branding and, and exposure and social proof and credibility, all that stuff matters to them when it comes to their pages and they're all missing it. They all got 300 likes. None of their social media links are matching basic services, basic, basic things. Um, you can ev even offer services on Fiverr. Like you can go to Fiverr, and, and there's a link in my description for 20% off your next order, but you can go to Fiverr. This is another thing that I would offer you guys. This is another, another service that I would offer. I would come to Fiverr and I would come down to digital marketing and I would actually know it's graphics and design. So I'd go to graphics and design and I would go to, um, let's go to, let's see if it's under digital marketing, social media marketing. Let's see if it's under this one. 
but what I would do is I would simply offer, look, let me find it. Um, actually, it might not be under that one. I think it's under graphics and designs. Let's go with, um, okay, perfect, social media design. I would offer them, like I would literally charge a, a, a client, and this is real stuff, man. This is what I've done. I've gotten hundreds of clients, you guys, and this was another, another service that I used to offer, but I don't offer it anymore, but it's still a powerful, powerful service. Look, when you look at my, um, let me just show you, let me just show you. When you look at my um, cover photo, my banner, this right here in the middle, Inspired Digital, okay? Look at that one, and then look at my um, Facebook banner. Here's a cover photo for my Facebook. So same cover photo, there's, there's my Facebook. And then you come over to my LinkedIn. Look, dude, I'm telling you basic stuff, you guys. These are basic services that businesses will pay you hundreds and hundreds of dollars for. There's my cover photo, same cover photo. And then you come to my Twitter. Those are four different platforms where there's my Twitter cover photo. Do you understand that your business, these business owners, clients, None of their pages look like this. Like I can come over here to Fiverr and have some, I will set up all social media accounts and pages. I will design a professional clean YouTube banner. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go with, um, I will design Instagram. Okay, we're not looking for a, a manager. We're looking for someone to, to just simply design. I will design a beautiful Facebook ad. I will create awesome social media graphics and content. But see, these are high prices. I would go to budget. And I would, I would go five to $10, five to $10. Okay. And I would hire one of these guys. I would hire one of these guys. I would design best Twitch. Okay. I will create 100 inspirational. I will set up all social media accounts. I will create your social media advert calendar. I will design YouTube. I will design awesome Instagram, Facebook posts. Okay, here we go. I will design stunning social media banner, header, ads, cover. So this guy right here, five bucks, man. Five bucks. And I can literally have this person right here create a Facebook cover, a LinkedIn cover, a Twitter cover, and a um and a and a and a um shit. What else did I say? And a um and a YouTube cover. That right there, five bucks, ten bucks. And I would literally charge the client two, three, four hundred dollars to do that. Now I don't tell them where I get it done from, right? I don't tell them, hey, I got it from Fiverr. No, man, I'm the design. I have the design team. I have the in-house graphic designer. Like that's what I tell my client. And and they literally I'll charge them a few hundred just to go do that. Like that right there, you guys, I'm telling you, if you just focused on just that part and you reached out to every coach, whoever's in your niche, you reach out to every freaking, you know, plumber, landscaper, whatever the hell, whoever the heck your niche is, I guarantee you, man, I guarantee you 100% of their social media platforms do not have a professional looking image like that. And I guarantee you, man, if you, if you, if you got anyone on the phone, a plumber, a chiropractor, a restaurant, a freaking real estate agent, whoever, an insurance agent, whoever, 100% of them for sure, will give you at least a minimum of $300 to go make that happen. And you over here spent five to 10 bucks to do it. You're telling me if you close a few of those per week, that won't feed your family? Yeah, it will. Yes, it will for sure. While you're investing in courses, in the right courses, or you're investing your time in watching the right YouTube videos, Whatever, man. That's why I got some friends that say, David, I, I can get all that information on YouTube. Okay, shit, man. Go ahead and binge watch YouTube for the next 57 hours just to find that answer. You know, that's why a lot of the times you can find all everything on YouTube, but it does make a lot of sense sometimes to invest in a, in a coach, invest in a course, and just get straight to the point. And so this right here is what I call upfront money. It's upfront money where that 
client, that business owner will have no hesitation to give you a few hundred to go do something that simple. And that could be one of your services, man. One of your services. Now, this is step one. This type of stuff is what I call step one. But it, it, it allows you to get a few hundred out of a client and it allows you to build a relationship and it allows you to sharpen your skills. You're closing three of these per week. You're charging 300. You're making, let's just say, a profit of 290 each. So what is that? Freaking 970? You're making, you're making, you're making 970. Let's just call it 900 bucks. You're making $900 net profit per week while you're learning how to master your craft, which your craft, shout out to Sony. I was talking to Sony yesterday and I was telling her the same exact thing. I didn't show her the fiber part, but I was telling her different steps basic steps that you could be charging clients for. And in fact, that's yesterday's video. So go back and watch yesterday's video. Go back and watch yesterday's video, okay? It's an interview that I did with Sony. Um, Million Dollar Marketing Co. You'll see that. That was yesterday's video. Watch that video. Those are basic services that you can charge clients several hundred dollars to go do first, okay? This allows you to get, in the, get your foot in the door, it allows you to get a few hundred from the client. It allows you to build the relationship and it allows you to work on your craft because now you have a little bit of money to go, to go pay your bills and invest in courses. Again, you're either going to invest money in courses in the right courses and the right coaches, or you're going to invest your time. Either way, you're spending something. You're spending your time or your money. I advise you to spend your money, like go and invest in the right coaches to learn, to learn your, your skill. Okay. Which, is, which, which in this case it's Facebook ads. So that's what, what I'm saying for you over here when you're, is that let's go back to the question is that he or here, this woman you're put, um, okay. So what is your advice me advice for me run myself my campaigns and acquire the experience with time or recruit a freelancer via Upwork. No, you're going to learn it yourself. So what I'm telling you right now is go and offer basic services, go and offer some basic, basic services where you can get a few hundred out of that client right now. And, and, and the way I kind of painted my picture is, is, is a five step marketing plan. So for my clients, I have a five-step marketing plan. Step one and two are basic services like this. Let's just get your page looking good. Let's get your, let's get your pages optimized. Let's make sure all your links are matching, right? Let's get you up. Let's, let's take you up a few thousand likes. So your Facebook business page has the, uh, the, uh, the authority, the social proof, the credibility. Let's get that started first. And that's what I call step one and two, Jason. And then we go on to step three. Okay. And then, and then step three is when we start running local Facebook ads to capture leads. That's what I always tell my clients, man. And so in this case, when you're, you're going to start running them yourself, you're going to, you're going to start running them yourself. Don't hire anyone. Um, you don't need to recruit a freelancer at all. You want to start learning it yourself. Okay. And so in the beginning for a person that is, is working on a very, very small budget, you're not going to run Facebook ads to find clients. That's not what you're going to do right now. You're going to hit the DM. You're going to, you're going to follow your niche on social media. You're going to kick everyone off, kick everyone off, whatever your preferred platform is, kick all your friends and family, like people that you really, really know, people you went to school with, kick them all off, put them on a different platform. In my case, I started using Facebook direct message. And so all my real friends, my family, my cousins, my brother, my best friends that I went to school with, I've been here, I've been here in San Diego my whole life. So I know a ton of people, but I literally kicked them all off of my Facebook page and put them on my Instagram because on Facebook, you're only allowed 5,000 friends. And I needed every single spot to be someone to be, to be available for someone in my niche. Okay. So that's where I started. That's where I highly advise you start is, is start direct messaging, start messaging your niche in the, in the DM and, 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 and get scheduled appointments. And, and again, I'm here to tell you that everyone's pitching 2000 a month. Everyone's pitching a thousand a month. Everyone's pitching a high price, a high price, a high price. 
And they're pitching that price without even knowing the client yet. The client doesn't even know them yet. First call, they're trying to get 1500 Now, again, some of you guys are closers. Some of you guys are good. Some of you guys have your skill level up. I get it. And some of you guys are getting that, getting that, that, price, that, that price point and getting that much out of people up front. I totally get it. But the 99% of you guys, you're not getting that much money per, per month from a client. They don't even know you yet. You don't even have a track record yet. Your pages look horrible yourself. And so you got to start with the basics, man. Start with the basics, hit them in the DM, get that scheduled appointment, let them know that you can help them with their social media branding and their Facebook advertising and, and start small with them. Start small and get a few hundred upfront from them now. And then later is when is 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 get, later is when you can start running Facebook ads and start charging them even more. Okay, that's when you start charging them more. Step three. That's when you start taking them to a thousand a month, fifteen hundred a month, two thousand a month. But by that point, they already know you. You've already did some amazing services for them already. They like you. They trust you. And now taking them up, you know, to a thousand a month or fifteen hundred a month shouldn't be a problem um, at all with that individual client. So. I highly recommend, man, step your game up. If Facebook ads are what you're going to be learning, master it. Eat, breathe, and sleep the damn thing. If you're just watching YouTube videos, okay, great. I have a playlist. You know, I'll, I'll put my playlist in the description so you guys can binge watch on those if you want. Um, and if you're new to Facebook ads, make sure you're on my VIP list. The link is in the, is in the description, okay? Um, FB ads for beginners.com. Get on that list. I'm going to be dropping some training and emailing you some awesome stuff pertaining to the beginner level stuff for Facebook ads. I truly believe everyone misses the basics, man. And that's what FB ads for beginners is all about how to set it up, how to get everything optimized and how to launch your Facebook ad agency. Um, so that's for beginners get on that VIP list if you're not already. If you're interested in knowing how I built my agency, that link is in, is in the description as well. Digitalagencyblueprint.com is that um, um, list where I'm teaching people how all my tips, all my tricks, and how I'm building this, this agency, okay? So um, those are two lists that you guys for sure want to be on if this stuff is up your alley. Um, so I hope that answered your question when you're um, – I would start off with some basic packages, get a few hundred out of them, close a, a few of those per week. Um, and here, here are my exact numbers. And to this day, man, depending on when you're watching this, this is what I've been doing since 2016. Getting clients at a few hundred up front right now, 500, 600, 700 up front right now to go perform some basic services like, like, like either the graphic design or setting up all their social media links or, or, or running a, a like ad on their Facebook business page. Again, watch yesterday's video. I'll tie it at the end of this one. I'll tie it at the end of this one, okay? So, so wait until the end of this video and you'll see it pop up. That was yesterday's video where I'm talking about these two services. Their social media links and running that Facebook like ad. That's what I call step one and two. Step one and two, this can also be part of step one and two. I'm telling you, man, businesses, it doesn't matter what niche, they'll give you a few hundred to go execute that. And, and, and what I'm saying, while those other wannabe agency owners are, trying to, are, are starving, trying to get a $2,000 a month client, and they've yet to get one, not only do their sales skills suck, but their Facebook ads skills suck. That's why they're not confident, right? And that's why I shout out to Manure. But but Manure is being 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 honest, right? I'm a little afraid. You know, they haven't ran a Facebook ad for a client yet, and that's the majority of you guys. You haven't ran Facebook ads for clients yet. So that's what I'm saying. This right here, this approach will allow you to close a few clients per week, make a good income per week on the front end while you're investing your time or your money learning the back end and the back end is your facebook ads okay you got to master facebook ads which are also instagram ads and then eventually start cracking the code on youtube ads or vice versa however the hell you want to order it but it's the same thing you got to master that craft and that's where i'm at right now man is i'm mastering that craft i want to be the best at facebook ads instagram ads youtube ads 
that's what I want to do. Not only to, to provide value and, and these services to clients, but to tell you the truth, I want to be able to master it for myself as well. Uh, because I got other products and services that I'm looking to run ads on, right? So, so either way, when you're, do not hire anyone, you have to, you have to start running it yourself and you have to come into it knowing that it's going to take time and it's going to take patience and it's going to take testing. A lot of the times people want to run one ad and think that that's the ad they're going to freaking take to seven figures. It's like, dude, that cannot be more further than the truth than, than, than anything else. Like that right there is false expectations. Don't think you can run one ad and all of a sudden you're freaking booming. Like, no, hell no. It doesn't work that way at all. You're going to have to run multiple ads. You're going to have to do multiple testing. You're going to have to spend money. And, and that's why, man, I have some clients that, 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 and, and again, that's why not everyone's going to have 2,500 a month. Not every business is going to want to spend 2000 a month with you right now. That's why I take them for, for a few hundred up front. And then we get to that part later when they already trust me, when they already, you know, know that I can perform. That's when I take them to a higher price point per month. But at the same time, in the meantime, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm feeding my family. I'm paying the bills with that upfront money, right? And I'm just getting better. I'm getting better. But, but, but you got to go into Facebook ads knowing that there's a budget. Like what I would, what I would say is, dude, put 500 at Facebook ads and don't care about what happens with it. Just put 500 towards it. And I don't mean run an ad and leave it on for 30 days and spend 500 on one single ad and see what happens. No, you have to take the $500 amount and break it up, break it up, break it up, break it up into many, many different ads. You're going to run different ads, four days, five days, see what works, turn it off. Another ad, four or five days, see if it works, turn it off. The, the budget is 500 for the month, so we have to keep playing around to see what ads actually work. And I'm telling you, man, you're going to have 15 ads that don't work, but that one ad that does is going to pay for the entire campaign. So you got to come into, into it with the mindset of, 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 of I have X amount to spend, and I don't give a shit what happens, we're going to spend it. We're going to spend this damn $500 budget until, until something pops, until we learn which ad works, which objective works, which ad set works. You're, we're going to test the damn thing out, which creative works. We're going to test the damn thing out. We're going to go spend 500 on it. And, and, and when I'm $100 in and there's nothing coming in yet, I'm not going to get mad. This is you, I, The way I, I paint the picture is you want to look at it as play money. It is literally play money. Don't even care about it. And that's why when I talk to clients that are literally on their last dollar, it's not really the client that I care to work with because I just know how emotional that is for the person. Like when I'm on my last dollar and I, and I got to hope and pray that this one ad campaign works, that's the worst position to be in. You don't want to be in that position. So have some play money, come into it with an open mind and just start learning start learning man and and you will crack the code if you dedicate yourself to it man it's not a it's not something where you can just half ass you got to come into it man knowing that you're going to you're going to learn it and 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 what motivates me is yes learning it for other clients and 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 being able to really justify my worth but also what motivates me is learning it for myself because I got other shit that I want to sell online. So I want to be able to master Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads for my own products and services as well. So I got two motivations, right? You got to find that motivation for you. What's going to allow you to stay in it till you, till you succeed. You got it. You got to come in with a freaking no give up attitude and be like, man, I don't give a shit how long this takes. I don't care how much money I'm going to spend. I'm going to make it work. Other people are succeeding. I know I can su succeed as well. And that's another thing, man. I see other people succeed and I'm like, holy shit, if they can do it, I can do it. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm a firm believer that you can do it as well when you're just subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, man, hit the like. If you, if you see any value in any of my damn videos, you guys, will you please hit the like button? Will you freaking share it? Will you freaking subscribe to the channel? Hit the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. I get off on, on reading your questions and, and being able to answer them uh, for you. I appreciate you guys more than you can possibly imagine. Um, all you guys that are subscribing. I appreciate you more than you can imagine. 
and and I just I just love answering your questions, man. So hopefully that made sense when you're um, subscribe if you haven't already and 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 watch this video that you're gonna see pop up at the bottom. This next video is a video I did yesterday talking about step one and two talking about these basic services that I'm able to get several hundred dollars per client out of. And that's what gets the ball rolling. I, I, I close a few of those per week, make great income, great, make great weekly income up front. And see, here's what happens. When you start to do basic services like that, those are one-time one time services. Those are not retainer services, right? So if I'm getting 500 up front to do a, a simple job for them real quick, that's a one-time, it's not a retainer. But here's what happens. I'll close a few of those per week, like clockwork. My, my close rate is 99%. Like I literally knock on wood. Thank you, Lord. My closing rate is ridiculous, like ridiculous. I close a few of those per week. Let's just call it three, okay? 500 times three. There's your 1,500. And my net, my net profit on that, let's say I close three deals. My net profit on that, and I charge everyone 500, let's just say, my and that's 1500 gross right after my credit card fee and then after the the amount that i pay for the facebook ad because in my in my 500 hour package it consists of a facebook ad my profit on that my profit on that let's say let, let's just break it down per per client i charge you 500 dollars to, to go do a couple a couple basic services for you right my profit on on a five hundred dollar order is let's say let's let's just say, and this is these are real numbers, you guys, real real numbers. On a five hundred dollar transaction, my profit margin is about is about four is about four is about four forty. Four forty is my profit. So if I'm closing three of those a week, that's not bad income up front. Here's what happens, and I'm going to end it here. Here's what happens. I close three of those per week. Three, six, nine, twelve. Not bad income. That's what I call my full-time job. This is my full-time business. This is all I do. Okay? That's how my income comes in. I close 12 of those per month. Okay? At the end of the month, three to four of them come back ready for the next step. And what's the next step? Facebook ads, lead capture. That's the next step. So my first, let's just call, and let's, let, let's call that step three. So step one and two is what they're paying me 500 for to go do one time right now. And then step three is when I start running Facebook ads for them. That's when um, I take them to a higher monthly retainer. I take them to a, a retainer, first of all. That's when I take them to a monthly retainer. And that monthly retainer is 1000 1500 2000 a month. That's when now I'm in position to run Facebook ads because again, I've been doing this for a while now and this is this is how I've been making my income and I, and I just been simply taking that income and investing in courses. Now today I know to run Facebook ads. Now today I know to run Instagram ads. Now today I'm learning how to run YouTube ads. Today because now now I I I I I'm able to eat, I'm able to pay my bills. That upfront money is a good income. And it just takes the pressure off of me having to go search for that $2,000 a month client when God knows, you know, that wasn't going to come anytime soon back then. So that's how I kind of did it, you guys. And that's how, how, what I would recommend you guys do for those of you that are struggling to get a high paying monthly client, dumb your services down, man. Try to figure out different services that you can offer them that, that they'll be willing to give you a few hundred for right now while you're in the in, in in the process of learning and perfecting your skill which is facebook ads and paid traffic okay and you got to start learning it yourself start running these ads yourself yourself start start playing around with the facebook ads manager yourself and just start start learning it man start learning it start getting acclimated to it and 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 and, and find that mentor that you can grab a hold of man grab that grab a hold of that mentor and, and, and just don't, don't give up, man. Don't give up because we all know that we're in a social media world. We all know that businesses are still behind the eight ball. They're still lacking. They're still procrastinating. They still don't have a social media presence. And no matter how 
saturated you may think the industry is, I'm here to tell you, man, most people get, have given up by now. The people that started an agency in 2016, I am willing to bet. I am willing to bet because this is just how business numbers work. I am willing to bet that 80% of them, eight out of every 10 have already quit trying to build an agency, trying to get $2,000 a month clients, trying to, to, to make money in this, in, this, in this space. I'm here to tell you that since 2016, I'm willing to bet that 80% have already given up. So the industry is not saturated, saturated by, at, at all, like not even close, man. There's millions and millions of small businesses and every single one of them knows the importance of being on social media the problem is they all suck at it. And it's not that they just suck disrespectfully. They just suck because they don't have the time to even look into it. They're so busy running their day-to-day -day business. Their business is freaking HVAC. Their business is insurance. Their business is real estate. Their business is running a restaurant. Their business is not freaking knowing what links to put on social media or what links to put on Facebook. That's not their freaking business but it's yours and they know the value of it once you show it to them and you can reach them through the direct message rather than trying to be a telemarketer and you guys could provide an, a, a tremendous amount of value that will allow you and your family to eat and deliver value to these people man with without a question so Go out there, Manure, make it happen. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, you guys. And again, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you guys are doing. Let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. Drop me a question and I'll and 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 if and if it's a if it's a detailed question, I'll go ahead and make a video like this so we can educate the entire world. All right, you guys. So I'll see you on the next video over and out. Drop me a comment below. Peace.